creating the setups for your photos and your reels, it's easier than you think. First, go to Pinterest and look for food photography. Look for something that appeals to you and that you really, really, really like. Don't think about the details. Don't think that about that. Oh, I don't have all the stuff that it's in the photography. Just find something where you find, where you see a background that you like and the style that you like. After selecting all the image, all the images that you think that represents the best your business and your brand, go to Club Backdrops or B Flap Backdrops. Select a backdrop that that goes something like what you saw in the pictures that you had selected on Pinterest. After you receive everything, go to your restaurant or maybe to your food truck. It doesn't matter if you have an indoor or outdoor setup. If you're indoors, go as close as possible to a window where you get a lot of natural light. If you're outside, go to a place where you can find some mix of sun and shade. Now, to prove my point, what I'm gonna do is to recreate what I just said on that tutorial here with the items I have. I'm gonna use only what you can find on your kitchen. It doesn't matter if you have a restaurant, a food truck, or you're just taking pictures on, at your house. So let's go with it. Actually, my home studio is inside my garage. So what I'm gonna do is to just open that door to have some natural, natural light come in, and I'm gonna use that table over there. And what I'm gonna do is to use what I have that it's similar to what you can get inside a regular kitchen. So, uh, since I don't have a dish, actually, I'm gonna use this. This is just a banana. It's not that I have a banana laying around in my studio, but uh, it's what I brought to create this video. And also I have these two pumpkins them over there and I'm gonna bring this table right here next to the garage door and I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna turn off all my artificial lights Okay, as you can see, this is only narrow light. It's already creating some shadows. This is what I'm looking for. So, and you can see my little boy over there. He's calling me, asking me to let me let me out, let him out, but I'm not gonna do it. So, let me find some stuff. All right. So I got this for type of backdrops so we have our dark one we have the one simulating wood regular wood burnt wood and concrete so I'm gonna take one of those to create the space and this is what I got I got a couple of small boards bamboo boards a plant artificial one a spoon this one a small board and I just brought an additional, uh, I brought um, apple just to add some color and contrast. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sh choose something where I can create some contrast. So I'm gonna go with the wooden, the burned wood. Place the backdrop that you received. After that, place the dish that you wanna showcase. By the way, if you see a toddler walking around the video, that's my kid. Ignore. Place your dish on top of the backdrop. Now, find some herbs, berries, or whatever ingredients that take part in that dish and lay them around the dish so you can set the stage. Take your cell phone and try to fill as much as possible the frame with the dish, but let some of the items around the dish to take part of the picture. Make sure to have the light to the right, to the left, or maybe on top of your dish, but try to use it to create some shadows and depth on your composition. Remember that what we're looking for is to create some texture so the dish can pop up of the picture. Okay, first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of the boards to start creating our space. 
space. I'm gonna put it like here to add some differentiation and some height. I'm gonna put the second one. I'm gonna go with the plant. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna leave this pumpkin right here on top of the <clears throat> the backdrop because I think it, the contrast is just better. I'm gonna go with the banana right here and this is gonna be my plate where everything should be so I'm gonna put this guy right here and the banana I didn't rehearse this so that's why you will see me moving things around and not uh, having like a clear and straight to the point answer so right now I have a plant my main dish I'm gonna put everything together just to and this is not the only way probably I could go with this where I can put something on top we can add some texture to create some volume so but right now I think this is gonna be the first layout I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take the picture and show it to you okay this is the raw image yes this is not an actual dish this is not an actual preparation from a restaurant my point is I need you to understand that you can cre create a good image from whatever preparation that you can make on your on your kitchen even if it's a food truck, a well-placed restaurant, at home, whatever you're cooking. Now we can move to the editing tutorial. So 